In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new Amazon Echo. I will show you how to download and install the app, how to set up the Echo using the app, how to assign the Echo to a room. I will also show you how to put the Echo into setup mode in case you need to change your Wi-Fi networks or if you're giving it to somebody else. I will also show you some basic tips and tricks you should know if you haven't used an Echo before. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss that. I'm using the fourth generation Amazon Echo in this video. The instructions will work for the Echo Dot and Echo Studio. So don't worry if you've got them devices, this will still work. I will also leave timestamps in the description below so you can jump to a section if you're having trouble setting up your device. Hi, my name's Daniel. I've been using Amazon Echoes for a few years now and I've got lots of videos of helpful tips and tricks on my channel, so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out. In most of my videos, I don't say Alexa so I don't trigger your devices by mistake. However, as this is a beginner setup video, I will be saying Alexa a few times so if you've got one, make sure you mute it now. The first thing you will need to do is make sure you've got the Alexa app installed on your phone. If you've got an iPhone, you need to go to the App Store, and if you've got an Android phone, make sure you go to the Google Play Store. Once you're in the store, you need to search for the app. Just type Alexa into the search box. You will then be able to install the app for free. Once it's installed, you need to open it. You will then need to sign into your Amazon account. If you're using two-factor authentication, make sure you've got your phone handy so you can put in the code when it's sent to you. When you're first signing into the app, a few permission screens will appear. You should press OK to allow for permissions as it will give your Echo the best experience. However, this is entirely up to you. You should now plug in the Echo and turn it on. A blue light will start to spin on the bottom of the Echo whilst it's initialising. This will take a couple of minutes, then an orange light will glow to show it's in setup mode. If the Echo doesn't glow orange, you need to press the circle button on the top of the device. After a couple of seconds, the Echo will go in setup mode. You can also follow this if you want to reset your Echo or give it to someone else. You should now check your phone. Make sure you're signed into the Alexa app and a box should pop up telling you that a new device is ready to set up. You should press continue. It will then start to set up your device and ask you to sign into your Wi-Fi network. If you can't remember your password, it's usually located on the back of your Wi-Fi router. After a short wait, a screen will appear telling you that it's connected. If it doesn't connect, you may need to try this step again. You will then be asked to select what room your Echo's in. This is useful because later on you might want to control certain smart home devices in different rooms, such as lights and thermostats. It will then ask you where your Echo is. This is so that the Echo can give you localised results, such as news and weather forecasts. It's up to you whether you want to enter this information or not. Setup will now be complete. You will then be asked if you want to search for smart home devices. It's definitely worth doing this if you have any devices such as light bulbs, thermostats or doorbells as it will enable you to control them using your Amazon Echo. However, if you don't have any smart devices, you can skip this step. It will then ask you if you want to add any new devices and groups. Groups can be really handy if you have multiple Echoes as you can group them together and play music through all of them at the same time. Check out some of my other videos to see how groups work. Now you're set up, you want to check that it's working correctly. I find the best way to do this is by asking for the time. For example, I would say, Alexa, what's the time? It's 9.43 p.m. As you can see, the Echo told me the time. Don't worry about being too precise with your question. The Echo understands natural language, so you can ask different variants, such as what's the time, what is the time, or tell me the time. They'll all work. As promised, here are some other simple tips and tricks you might want to try when using your new Echo. If you have an Echo in your kitchen, timers are really useful. Just say Alexa, followed by set a timer. For example, Alexa, set a five minute timer. Five minutes, starting now. You could also say something like, remind me to take the dinner out of the oven in 10 minutes, or remind me to take the dinner out of the oven at 7 p.m. In all of these instances, it will remind you exactly when you want. To stop the timer when it sounds, just say, Alexa, stop. You can also use your Echo to play music or radio by asking. For example, Alexa, play Radio 1. Here's BBC Radio 1. BBC Sounds. Another useful feature, is using the Echo for maths. For example, Alexa, what's five times seven? Five times seven is 35. I find this feature really handy. The Echo is also really useful for getting information quickly. For example, Alexa, how old is David Beckham? David Beckham is 45 years old. He was born on the 2nd of May, 1975. If you want to change your wake word from Alexa, go to the Alexa app, Select Devices, followed by Echo and Alexa. Find your device and scroll down to a wake word. You can then set the wake word to Computer, Amazon or Echo. 
I hope you enjoy your new Echo and that you have found this video helpful. If you have, please give the video a like as it really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more useful tips and tricks as I've got plenty on my channel. Please let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.